Welcome. So now that you have joined and enrolled in our courses or registered yourself on the platform and you want to know how to sign in to one of the courses that you have joined, this is what you would do. You would come onto the site of www.tisx.tis.edu and you would see immediately that on this page there is this bright orange button that's called sign in. And all you have to do is click on this button. And once you click on this button, you will come out here to this page that talks about sign in, right? So if you notice out here, there is sign in, there is a username, you will, the name that you, and the address that you registered with that was used on T6, that's what you would have to use. The password that you used on the site when you registered, that is the one you would use. If you have forgotten that password, you can click on this link and it will take you to the forgot password option and you can reset it using the email ID that you used. But uh, if you have not forgotten, then you don't have to click on this at all, right? So once you click on sign in, you get taken to this page. If you have not created an account, then you can, they will also give you the hyperlink for that. And you type in your, email ID and your password. And I have done that out here. And if this is a shared computer, if it is a shared computer, then do not check this. Do not allow the computer to remember you. If you are in a cyber cafe, if your laptop is used by a lot of other people, then don't do it. But if you are in a safe place with your family using it or something, you can definitely allow you can definitely check the remember me then the chrome browser or whatever browser you're using will remember the password for you and you don't have to remember it again so once you have signed in and you have uh, logged into the page you will have to click on this green button out here and a new page is going to open up and that is the page that you will be um, trying to share and the page that opens up is this one this is your dashboard. This is called the dashboard. It has all the courses that you are enrolled in to be visible out here for you. And if you are a part of the course, so your name will appear out here on the right. And if you click on this, you can change your profile, your account, you can sign out. You can search for all the kinds of courses that you are a part of. And all of that would be visible to you, right? So all the courses that you are enrolled in and you're a part of are going to be available on this dashboard or my courses page. So if you click on any one of those courses, you will be able to view the course and be able to see it. Just before that, I would like to tell you about this very small, tiny button that's right next to this view course of the page. It's a very small button because if you notice it, it's hardly visible. It's a very powerful button. If you click on it, it opens up to something that's called unenroll. And if you click on unenroll, then you get unenrolled. It is, un it is not reversible. Everything that you have done in the course is all wiped out. So you will have to do the course all over again. So do not click on the button of unenroll. Click on view course, a lovely button right next to it, which is a big bright orange button. Once you click on it, you will be able to come to the page. And what does that mean? You come to this page and you have a home page. And the home page will have certain course updates and news. So what you are seeing out here is home, course, discussion, wiki, progress. So all of these are things that will that are different in different courses. Every course may not have a wiki or anything of that sort. What you will have is the home page. Uh, it will tell you, you know, maybe to uh, whom can you reach out to, what is the course that you would have, and so there may be some information from the course faculty. You click on course, the one that is right next to it, you click on course, and once you clicked on course, it will tell you where you are within that course and you have introduction to the course. It will show you everything that is visible on the course. So uh, it may be that some of the faculty has tried and given you something in 
in in order right that may be other courses where everything is visible and there are certain courses where they will make it visible step by step so it depends on what your course really deals with and so you can click on resume course or resume course out here and if we um, start with that right it will tell you where the course starts and all of it now if you click on these these are the top buttons on the laptop the mobile version is different but on the laptop the mobile navigation is that you will have these top buttons of one activity the second activity of course introduction the third activity of whatever else that the course instructor has designed for you and you may also want to scroll down the page to see whether there is something else at the side so it may be that you also scroll down the page to see if something else occurs right you have a button at the end of the page which says next so you immediately go to the next activity and again you can scroll down the page you have a previous and a next button right here you also have a button out here which says next and a button here if you click on any one of these activities, you can directly go to them. Like I can go to course queries right after I click on course introduction. And if you notice, this gets high, this is highlighted. So even if I am, because I am on this page, it has got highlighted. And right, so I can just be on this page and then it tells me what the page's title is. And as I said, I could be clicking out here in terms of course queries and doing the activities. If it says show discussion, you can click on it and it will allow you to add a post or anything of that sort, right? So we'll have another uh, video on how to do, deal with discussions, but this is basically what discussions deals with. Uh, you can check your progress and uh, your progress when you click on the tab up at the top like home course discussion progress you click on progress and it will show you what you have done since the course is new and not yet begun there is no progress but there it may be there so we'll have another video on progress as well and uh, that's it you go ahead and each time you come onto the page it will uh, take you to the home page you go to course and you check out the important dates that are there and whatever uh, else that they have to give and uh, resume your course and it's a very simple click 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 activity right that's all that is there to the course uh, i hope you enjoy it and happy viewing at any point in time if you want to get out and go back to your dashboard and you are enrolled in three four courses you can click on this button at the stop and it will take you to your dashboard so you come back here and you can see whichever other course you want to engage and enroll with and of course if you want to explore courses you can click on explore courses you can click on archived courses you can click on other aspects you will not see the system admin in your courses generally and you can search for courses in the search bar so there's a lot of facilities available it is just a simple site and for any 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 doubts any aspects that you have all that you need to do is ensure that you remember this ID of ours, that is RTICT at the rate clicksindia.org. That's the email ID that you need to remember, and you can write into us, and we are happy to help you. Happy exploring!